So let's look at a few items that have arrived in the post. Some of these are already taken out of their packaging, so I'm sorry for that, but uh, um, I thought I'd show you what's what's arrived for me. So first of all, I've got another one of these Sonoff relays, the Wi-Fi relays, uh, the Sonoff Basic. So I accidentally destroyed one of these when I was uh, trying to change the flash RAM chip. So this is the replacement for it. Uh, so you've probably seen these before. They have a ESP8266 processor inside and um, you can control the relay uh, via wireless. So those are quite nice. Next I've got a sensor. So this is the DHT11 I think. So the DHT11 is a temperature sensor. I think it's got um, barometric pressure on it as well perhaps or is it humidity I can't, I can't remember but anyway so um, this one I bought it's on a little board that you can put some pin headers in and this is it's basically meant to work uh, it's meant to stack up with these things with a little Wemos D1 which is a, a microcontroller board in this nice compact format Right, this is nice. This is a little hat that fits on top of the uh, Raspberry Pi and gives it a little, uh, well, if you can see that, so it's a white matrix of white LEDs. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, this is quite a nice one. I've been looking forward to receiving this. So, this is a whole collection of sensors and stuff for Arduino. So, there was a, a package with all these things at a single price. So there's loads of really great stuff in here. I think that's a shake sensor there. I've got a relay. Uh, I think that's probably a Hall effect sensor for magnetic sensing. So, a um, whole load of really good stuff here for experimentation. That's a three three color LED. Um, so I'll look through that in more detail another day. Just so I get to do that. This one. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, this is a kit of some kind. Can't remember what this was. Let's have a look. So we obviously have a Three volt battery box here. We've got a surface mount chip of some kind. Um, let's see. Oh yes, I think this is a radio module. I think it might be a FM radio. So that'll be a kit that I'll put together at some point and another video Something to do on a rainy day and next we have this is a detector so it's a it's a sensor for use with robotics so there's a uh, 
an infrared LED and uh, infrared photo transistor, I think. So it's meant to reflect infrared off a surface and detect when it's close to something. So I haven't found any data on this yet, but it shouldn't be too difficult to work out how to connect something to it. And then I can mount it on the front of a robot and it'll know when it's about to bump into something. Um, this is a, a pair of well, transceivers, so, so um, radio transmitter and a receiver. And um, I think they're 433 megahertz. Um, difficulty getting out of the bag. Um, so so I can't remember which is which. No, I'll have to I'll have to do a bit more research. But basically this there's a transmitter and a receiver and what I remember is they use amplitude shift keying. So that's one of the kind of simplest forms of radio modulation you can use. So you have a transmitter that can send a a series of ones and zeros and it uh, sends them by well it represents the ones as pulses of 433 megahertz and the zeros as nothing so uh, then the receiver can quite easily decode that and figure out which are ones and zeros so we'll, we'll connect that to um, an Arduino or Raspberry Pi at some point and try that out and the final item is this here. It seems to be well wrapped in there. Some lights. So these are some outdoor lights. So we've got a, a solar cell there, a little solar cell, a little mounting bracket and a spike to stick it in the ground if we do that. And then oh yeah, so controls on flash or off. So it's got some different functions, and basically it's these little sort of things that look a bit like a flower so let's see if there's any power in it no it's not charged at the moment so I can't can't give you a demonstration but these are for the shed I'm going to put those on the shed outside okay so that's it for this time on the uh, post bag these are the items that I've recently received and um, I'll itemize them in the uh, text below okay thanks very much see you next time